Now, normally I would be, you would get an introduction to a mission or not, but we're not doing a mission. We're going to be talking about a ability for the PC versions. Our ability of something about the something called the keybind system up for the PC versions. Please be aware that I've modified the my usual layout just so you can see it, see everything a lot better at the moment. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see what I've got rows two, one, two, and seven. It's because I've got we've effectively got ten rows in game, and I've let have row f a third row to be row seven because the actual row three has nothing on it. So, what's the big deal with this, these keybinds? I've currently got, got my keyboard set up to that, so every time I press space, it will fire an energy weapon, and then then trigger an, an ability on longer uh, row seven. If I, I'm unable to fire an energy weapon, it will trigger an ability on across the uh, row seven. So, um. Trigger two were there, but um, because of emergency power shields, is a locks out because of uh, emergency power weapons. One that I was uh, that will that's intentional, but if I but and that happens at that point when that happens, and I've also triggered beta three, two of my abilities, and that triggers another ability. Um, very, very, all of that's very, very good to use, and I can even got a spread one there. So, how do I egg do it? Do all this? This is actually a. Uh, I've clicked key bind, so it's always space, trigger space on, on this. I actually use another piece, a third piece, third party piece of software. This will, this does not. Inject any code within to statical line unless you count a user created script. But well, since Scarlet's already got this command, this script done, I need to create it for another, for some some of our other characters which we've seen 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 in the past, Merzo and uh, and our Gemma Welcome. Okay, so now we're on my cat on this character. As you can see, very sort of I've kept that, like, kept this oversized uh, lo load up just so we can see what's happening. And this is definitely not my final des m design for the for this ship. I just I just needed something that that works to some degree, and you can see it working. Now. Um, Really, sh sh now I will just put on uh, some abilities that I would normally put on any on one of these bambas anyway. On this bamba anyway. Yeah. Before you ask, <sighs> all these powers will be something I would put on a uh, on on the, on this. Just anyway, I might even just sneak a uh, sneak a. Captain's ability, because it doesn't matter which ability you can put on here. I do recommend two, a few things about it, but I'll cover that in a, one week. Well, now talk in a later, a bit later on. So we need to actually get out the game. Well, right. Yes, this is my desktop, and yes, currently I've got some SEO work. Uh, STO uh, software on here. On here, I've got I've got the old, one of the older combat log readers and a STO keybinds app already installed, and some other some other software which we don't I don't need to we would we about too much other than one of these both of the my combat log trackers which I can co cover cover at a later date when you want to to really do talk about combat log tracking. <laughs> So here's it is, and this is well. 
it is on on the such for it's such for the net products STL dot dot keybind. I bought this already already downloaded it and yes it's as you can see here, it's a bit, bit, bit of a dumb, but I've already downloaded it, it's already installed it, so and, it, and, and the keybind software looks something like this. Right, so this is going to be a bit, bit confusing for, for new players, but let's start with add, it, add a so since we don't go to start it when you let's start with creating a we'll start with master settings we'll add a key now we're going to select select the because we can select any key that's available that the keyboard the mouse that the game can see is easily doable because you can see a b Xbox controllers. I've got. Uh, I mean, but the one I'm looking for is the spacebar. Damn. So, we've got the spacebar. So we can now, if if we wanted, we could add a a, a modifier key. So it's Control Alt and Shift are the two freeze key but ones that you, you, you want and you can also decide to add a, make a combo so it's, means it, it's one only trigger once you press a certain, certain number of keys at the same time but we'll just start with something simple with, with a spacebar. We select the activity. Now this is a uh, this is pretty much something you do need to work out is what you want your your build your thing to do as you can see there's a lot a big long list of things your thing your your thing can do. Now personally I'm gonna be setting a space tra space uh, a space uh, a space uh, we weapon build we load up so I've deliberately selected all, fire all cannons of beams I've deliberately set cannons of beams for a for a met, for, for reasons for, for reasons that I prefer to go into this is purely so I can if I decide I want to have a have a manually fired torpedo or mines I don't have to worry about triggering all all the having all the uh, having having them current going on every time I hit the space bar so and I create the next built it. There's, and then you can select select stuff like execute full tray, which will let me to pick one tray. And I'm going to select tray seven. That'd be nice. Uh, but let's say if I don't, I don't. I only want about three or four built it on this tr tray to activate, so I can execute pass tray. So I can set slot one to slot four, but so so when I go in game, it will instead of going set one to the end, it will only do the first four when it uses it. Yeah. Uh, so, but and also we can always execute a single slot. It's only useful if you need to just activate something on. The, if you really just need to activate a particular slot, there are other ways to execute different slots as well, which I'm not going to go into too much detail. That's, but in this case, we want to execute execute the entire entire thing at once. Right. Right. Uh. right. So, in my opinion, this is what 
I would say is what I really want to do for this but hey let's see if we can do add a new activity just so I can show you some, some stuff in it within this so Let's say we want excuse row well, row eight. That gives me kind of so I'll have, uh, I can easily decide I don't want to have row eight being the being last. I want to get that first. I can switch it around using these two icons. Also, I can always knock out this last this last command using the mouse button. Now I've got a what I want this space this key bind and the key I want to make it do. I think there is one thing left to do decide what I want to make is how to get it to work in game then this part this is if I can then click on create a bind file and press the button and it will create a command within this, this yellow box which, will, which is going to be perfect only for your copy of your, your game because it's and hit copy to clipboard and what happens when you hit that? Oh, not much other than it, it comes in your clipboard. So, and not much other than this command will be now in your clipboard. That doesn't really mean much, but other than you can paste it somewhere over the. Other than you, uh, paste it somewhere. Well, there's a good place to put. Well, the best place to place set, put it in the chat window on down it. Down here, as you can see here, this is right. Uh, we forgot to put this in the uh, in the, the actual video when we're recording it, but actually, but be you've got to be in space if you want to play a space space keybind or ground for ground keybind. You can. I mean, space in this case is like Earth space or Chronos, anywhere where you can actually activate your abilities in space. Is the best thing to, to be. Let's go back to me. R run stuff within the game. So I insert that command here and press return. But nothing's happened. Well, well, uh, let's see if I can press space. That's just the tr that was two trains just popped. Same with that train. So, hey, it's working to some degree. The web, I don't have. This is not. I don't have any, any targets to shoot at. This is it for devoted for forty forty. So that's uh, probably the. I think it's working. But let me cover some things about abilities that I'm going to need to really mention. Whilst I can put. Anything in these, anything in this train, I do not recommend anything that I call toggles. But what's this on this particular ship? It, this is just at the moment. That's Link Jemadar wing, Wingman. This will just, this will go one way or another, and it will. As soon as they cool down for one triggers, it will disable the other and repeat. Because this, this is, because Jemadar, this Jemadar has got a. Gemini abilities, but for Scarlet, there's a big pile of abilities you might have spotted. Most of the science abilities aren't in this, and I've only put this this the this particular attack pattern outfit up there because I just because I can show you, you can put very stuff in, and if you could put a uh, your put in the batteries and stuff in, but you do, but as soon as they come off cooldown. It will try and pop another. I've currently got got a. So there is actually stuff you want to, if you want to keep a manual control, you do need to make sure they don't drop, put them in there. Clogs is one of the things you do not want to put in the in this in this thing in this uh, spam bar because you will basically cloak decloak as soon as, it, as soon as you can, as soon as your ship can cloak or decloak. It gets ridiculously silly when you see. <laughs> 
when you try to cook and decook as much as much as you can, especially when you're in Romulan vessel lot, when they can cloak on demand in battle. <laughs> So, so yes, uh, the, as I mentioned earlier, this does not apply. This tag guide cannot apply to consoles. Consoles already have a automatic. They've got things that automatically fire on demand whenever they they, they meet command diff, different things on the under their system. But that's purely because they, well, they, we've got a hundred odd keyboard keys in front of me and we and I keep mouse as well as in front of me you me so you can whereas controllers only got a handful of controls this is uh, was this particular loadout is not something I would recommend I'd use on a regular basis this particular loadout is just have to be st stuff that I c came with and I needed to Show something up. So, this has been Mike Shirtwriter. See you guys next time.